Hello, this is Father Dennis, chaplain of Lewis University, coming to you from St. Dennis Church in Lockport, Illinois. Today is Holy Thursday, and for us, the big event would have been the Lord's Supper. Because the circumstances being what they may, we wanted to share with you a little bit of a reflection, even though Mass would not be taking place tonight. So this is a gospel that we would use this evening from John chapter 13, and it goes as this. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the very end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So, during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper, took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin, began to wash the disciples' feet, and dry them with a towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and my head as well. Jesus said to him, Whoever has bathed has no need except to have their feet washed, for they are clean all over. So you are clean, but not all. This is the Gospel of the Lord. The story that we just heard from John is both a very simple and at the very same time profound story. Jesus intends to show his disciples how much he loved them even before he leaves them. And so on this very first Holy Thursday night was the night before Jesus' death. Rather than plot how to escape or prepare an ironclad defense, Jesus is not focused on himself but on his disciples. Rather than thinking about himself, he is thinking about teaching love to his disciples by his profound action of self-giving. He gives himself in humble service to teach how disciples should love one another. So Jesus stoops, bending before his disciples and reversing the relationships. He, the master, becomes the servant who then washes their feet. To better understand the meaning of this passage, we need some background. Washing the feet of guests before a meal was an ancient custom of hospitality. Foot washing was also a standard custom at banquets in the Greco-Roman world. Since guests were reclining at very low tables, it made perfect sense to have their feet washed of the junk in the streets. For in the Greco-Roman world, it was generally the duty of a slave to do such an action. Jewish tradition and rabbinic law at the time of Jesus prescribed that a Jewish slave or servant could not be required to wash the master's feet or the feet of his guests. Why? Because it was considered to be too humiliating a task even for a slave or a servant. People wore sandals at that time though the streets were really considered to be latrines. People's feet were crusted, smelly, and certainly repulsive, and even worse, they might have even been diseased. In light of this, according to Jewish law and custom, each guest was in, that was invited to a meal would wash their own feet. Thus the disciples, and especially Peter, were shocked when Jesus does something to them not even required of a slave, and then asked his disciples to do the same. The foot washing needs to be understood as an act of self-revelation on the part of Jesus. The foot washing reveals Jesus is unfettered love for his disciples, and it is this love that holds the promise of new life for them. By washing his disciples' feet, Jesus enters into an intimate relationship with his disciples that mirrors the intimacy of his relationship with his father. It is an intimacy that discomforts Peter 
because it overturns all of Peter's and even our own conventional assumptions of roles and what is correct. Yet, it is only by accepting Jesus in the surprising roles of loving host and intimate servants that one has a share with him. That one receives the love of God. Our daily lives are all about letting Jesus wash us with his love so that way we can wash others with our love. John 13 challenges every generation of disciples to allow themselves to be placed in the hands of Jesus. Jesus asks his disciples to enter into relationship with him on his terms and that they allow their relationship with him to be defined by God's love and God's love alone. The towel that had been around Jesus' waist during the foot washing has become quite dirty. It reminds us that if we are going to witness to our faith, we have to get down into the dirt of people's lives and wash them free of it, as Jesus himself did. When we do this, we live up to Jesus' image of being a foot-washing Messiah. Disciples take Jesus' challenge seriously when we wash each other's feet. We take to heart Jesus' teaching. I have given you a model to follow so that as I have done for you, you should also do for each other. So may God continue to bless you as we begin this Triduum. And may God continue to keep you safe from all harm. And may he bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen.